everybody doing today? My name is Steven Rosenberg, this is Gene Ginsberg, and welcome to Marketing Success in Under 10 Minutes. We have a wonderful and tactful show for you guys today because Gene is going to dive deep into Facebook retargeting. Gene, how are you doing today? I'm doing awesome. Thank you so much, Steven. Uh, yes, I want to talk about Facebook retargeting today. Again, always happy to be on the show, always excited to be here. But yeah, going back to Facebook retargeting, so let me take a step back. What is retargeting? For our audiences who are not familiar with the concept of retargeting, it is a way to bring a, your prospects, people who have engaged with you, back to your site or your, to your social media. So mm -hmm. what that usually entails is uh, putting a piece of code on, let's say, your website, and I'm not going to get into the technical technicalities of it or how to do it from a technological right. standpoint. Um, if you want to Google how to place Facebook Pixel on your site, I actually have a guide, but uh, and there's probably a bunch of other people that have a guide as well or YouTube video. But in terms of the kind of the conceptual piece of it is, so you might have individuals who have been to your site or maybe they've engaged with your Facebook page or maybe they've engaged with a video on your Facebook page or your YouTube video, for example. So there is ways to set up these audiences within Facebook, and I'm gonna talk about Facebook specifically in this video, um, that will allow you to bring those audiences back and why is it important to bring them back? It's important is because they are what we call a warm audience. So a cold audience is someone who has never heard of you, doesn't know, doesn't know who you are, never heard of your brand, your company, or anything like that. And a warm audience mm -hmm. is somebody who already has engaged with you. Again, they might have watched a video, maybe they've been to your site. And so they are clearly interested in what you have to say in your product. And so it's much easier also to convert those warm audiences into paying customers than it is right. to convert a cold audience. It, it takes much longer for a, in terms of a, of a you know, a communication strategy, a, a time strategy to get a, a, typically a cold audience to convert to a paying customer. Warm audiences, much faster. So that's why retargeting mm -hmm. is important. It's basically a way to bring back warm audiences to your, into the fold. Again, it could be to mm -hmm. social media, it could be to, um, to your website. And so the main four points that I use, the four strategies on, in retargeting that I use on Facebook are website audiences, email list, Facebook engagement, and video engagement. So let me break those down. So again, you can set up a pixel on your site and that will allow you to create an audience within Facebook that has uh, been to your site. And so you can create that as an audience and, and use that to retarget within your ads. So if you're in your, this is all gonna be within your Facebook ads manager. If you go to your Facebook ads manager and then go to audiences, you can uh, select create a new audience and it'd be a custom audience and then you would click on website visitors so okay. you would be able to create that audience so that's website visitors is one number two is your email list again within the audience section of facebook ads manager go to create a, a custom audience and then go to customer list and then what you can do is you can upload your entire email list if you have an email list and it will match facebook will match up those email addresses within the users of facebook and then you can create that again as an audience so these are people who are already on your list and who might be interested in what you have to say further. That's and then cool. the second, uh, the third point is uh, your Facebook page. So anybody who's been to your Facebook page, again, engage with you, they're probably interested in what you have to say. Same thing, audiences, create a custom audience and then go to engagement and then you can click on the point that says Facebook page engagement and then create a custom audience there. And then the fourth one is your videos. So somebody has watched your videos on Facebook. Uh, we put out a lot of videos uh, here. Uh, when we do this show, we post it all on Facebook. So we can retarget those users who have watched our videos. And that's awesome because they're probably interested in what we have to say. So again, going to audiences in your Facebook ads manager and then creating a custom audience and going back to engagement. And that would be video engagement. And you can select the, the video that you want or the videos, uh, again, it, that you want to uh, use as, as to retarget. And you can also select what is the amount of time that a, a user has watched your video. So it could be anywhere from three seconds, 10 seconds, 25%, 50%, 75%, 95%. And I think that's it. I don't, I, or maybe even 100%. So 
then you can read. So, for example, if somebody has watched your video 50%, 50% of your video, uh -huh. that's a pretty good indicator that they're probably interested in what you have to say. If they watched 100% of your video, then, then they watched all the way to the end. So, that's right. pretty awesome. They're probably pretty interested. So, again, you can create that as an audience. And then, when you've created all of those audiences and you're ready to start creating your ads, you can just select them within your Facebook ads manager when you're creating the ad. Mm. And so, they're right there for you to use as a retargeting pool. Uh, any, I know I went through this kind of quickly, but any yeah. questions, Stephen, from you or anything that I might have missed? Yeah, well, I mean, I think that's really interesting for one. I thought that was extremely helpful and tactful. Um, I guess question-wise is how frequently does Facebook change their rules uh, when it comes to the video ads specifically? And the only reason I ask that is because I heard that they're changing something about the way that they're doing the video ads. I don't know oh, what it I is, but... I've, I haven't heard anything about okay. that, but that could be so, maybe I haven't heard about it. I try to stay on top of Facebook <laughs> ads news, but if there's so much and Mark Zuckerberg changes things all the time, so it's, right, you know, it's right. hard to just <laughs> stay on top of everything. But I don't no think kidding. I've heard anything. Um, about uh, and do you know specifically what it was about the change in, in the no video? I don't so I'll go a different direction with my question which is you know with the advice you just gave how how long do you think it would take someone to get the swing of doing this themselves like if you didn't have a ton of knowledge on how to do this you kind of went over uh, sort of the different aspects of it how long do you think it would take someone to grasp that and start utilizing that amazing advice that you just gave Oh, well, if you, I mean, if you follow my directions here in this video, you can start creating mm -hmm. those, uh, those audiences right away. It, it will probably take you 10 minutes to create those oh, audiences, wow. and then you can start creating an ad, which will probably also take you 10 minutes to create, maybe a little longer if you have to write copy for it and create an image. But if you already have all those components set up, and I think I've done videos in the past that talk about what are the components of a Facebook ad, um, mm -hmm. so headline, copy, image, call to action, and your targeting. Those are my five main components. So if you have all those components set up, then it, will, it takes me like 10 minutes to create a, a, a Facebook ad. And then I have all my audiences already set up for retargeting. And I use that all the time for all of my clients and my own ads for Facebook. And it is, um, and also the amazing part about retargeting is that it, it is very low cost because you're, you're going after a pool of people. It's a pretty small pool, right? It's not gonna right. be like millions of people. It might right. be, te you know, maybe thousands or tens of thousands of people. And so the cost to find those people uh, is pretty low. You can spend $5 a day on retargeting ads on Facebook and see amazing results again those users have already engaged with you. They already know a little bit about you, so it's much easier to take them to the next step in your sales process. Hmm. So That um, was yeah. really helpful and quite insightful, I, I thought. So I think that anyone else that has questions should make sure you guys listen below. Um, and Gene, thank you so much for giving us that advice. Absolutely, I hope you guys use it. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave uh, leave it as a comment. Always happy to answer questions. Otherwise, uh, awesome. And I'm uh, looking always forward to doing the next show. But in the meantime, can't wait. Yeah, uh, have a great rest of the day. See you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you'll continue to get involved and join us as we help you find success in your entrepreneurial journey. Please follow, like, and share with others who will find this beneficial. We'll see you on the next episode of Marketing Success in Under 10 Minutes with Stephen and Gene.